Hey all, it's Roy here. Um, I wanted to do a, a video um, to try to go through what we did. We did our first video, music video, uh, in its entirety from, from, from the audio part, the video part, the putting it all together, um, and, and all that kind of stuff. So I, I, I thought it would be anybody who hasn't done this process before um, that it'd be interesting uh, to see what was done in the background. Um, this is kind of an all-in-one. I'm gonna every everything that I show you is you know you could probably spend a lot more time learning. I'm and I'm definitely no expert on this. Uh, the other thing we should I should say in advance is that um, uh, this was all done on a budget. So um, I'm and I'm sure I'm sure there have been far better videos made with somebody's cell phone than than we did but it was made with a budget so let's let's just start off with um the gear list so um the two cameras i had i, I got these rather cheap 200 bucks um it's a rebel t3i canon um, it takes really really nice pictures um it does it does okay video. Uh, I was I just you have to be really careful with the lighting. Anyway, we can talk about that. The uh, second camera that I got is the one I'm using right now to record this. That is a, a GoPro Hero Five Black. And I, after all of this, I tell you, I probably would have got two of those instead of the the Canon. But uh, the prices were right on everything. So um, as far as gear goes from the audio side. Um, there's an array of, of microphones that we have uh, that we record the uh, the guitars and the vocals with, but the the major thing is it's all done live. We we this isn't uh, something we've done in a studio. This is just live, and basically I have this um, Zoom L20R mixer that you you see over there, and uh, we just plug in and play and. Uh, Hopefully we you know do it once or twice, get a good something that sounds good, and then we then we take that recording. There's an actual uh, disc in here. You take out, take that recording, and then we dump it into the audio workstation. So I guess it start start there. I use Mixbus. Uh, what we do is we take the audio, put it here into into Mixbus, and um, uh, we have all these tracks that came from the from the mixer, and uh, simply. Um, make sure they're all the right levels and do a little mixing and then send them on their way. Um, export that recording as uh, whatever your favorite format is. And uh, what we do is we go right into the video. So we, uh, we take that and dump that audio file. We can never quite get this thing, here we go. Dump that audio file, this is it down here, into the, into the video. And, uh, and then all these layers above it, this is called Wondershare, by the way. Filmora Wondershare is the video editor that, uh, that I chose. And it, again, it's, it's based on budget, right? I'm sure you could get stuff that's far more expensive, but uh, for, for my purpose, this was enough. So that's how we put the video together in, in Filmora with the sound. Um, there were, there were, uh, there were things that I, that I learned from doing this, which which I'm happy to pass on, which is that um, if I if I had to do it again, and I will, um, I would do it in a much larger room. Um, one of the things one of the things was that the you had to use super wide angle lenses because the room is so small, and it makes it just doesn't make for good video. Um, the other thing that I would do is I would have the monitor, small monitor. Um, instead of trying to look at the back of your Canon Rebel and, you know, and see this little picture on here, I would have had a, a much, uh, you know, like a 7-inch or 10-inch monitor um, to do that with. Uh, that would have been much, much better. Um, some of the other things I learned were continuity. Um, or I guess maybe it's not continuity. I don't know. Um, the composition. So checking checking that things like mic stands weren't in people's faces during the, during the video. Um, that you know, the lights between shots were, were set up again correctly. Um, we did this whole video in two and a half hours. So it was done pretty quickly. So kind of rushed through it. That's the other takeaway. Probably, probably book a, a half a day 
for the next video just so that you had time to to set up and and uh, make sure everything was done in between um that's basically it so the the walkthrough is this audio comes from the from the uh, l20r um from the live band uh it gets put into the video uh editor in the end after it goes through the mix bus uh and whatever your favorite DAW is, uh you know garage band or whatever you want to use and then uh, and that's it you just put them all together in this video editor um, we did some, uh, like you can see on here, there was some snow in the video that we used. That's really just a green screen effect. You'll see it up here. Um, and, and that's it. There's really not a lot else. I hope this, if they find this valuable at all, let me know. Um, and, uh, happy to answer any questions you might have that come up. Thanks very much.